Hey YouTube, Red to Green here. I want to show you how you can click an option and it automatically links it to an active trader window with a single click. All right, I'm starting here with a default fresh layout. Let's go to trade. Let's go to all products. Let's type our stock, Tesla in this case. Let's detach that window just for the simplicity's sake. We're going to bring that window back. I'm going to move the main window to a different monitor. Our option chain window is right here. I'm going to filter some of those expiry dates out just for the cleanness, right? Okay, now we have December 17 expiry. Okay, I added more strikes. All right, so the way you currently click on the option, right? and it just pops the order right below it and you click confirm and set. That's pretty much a default order route the way that Thinkorswim works. Another way to do it is right click it, send it to a group or copy it or send it to a watch list. So if you send it to a group, right, you can obviously link that color group uh, of an active trader. For example, I can have a, a purple active trader window and I can send it to that. But how many steps is that? One, two, three. So I, I, I'm taking time to do that. So if I scalp an option, right, I, I want to get in on that momentum breakout. I'm, I'm, I'm in and out. I want I want to get that before that it, or during that initial burst of volume. I, I have I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to right click it. So what I'm going to show you is where you click it and order it. I have a hotkey set up. You, you able to click it, click your uh, specific option, either call or put. And you can get in with your hotkey if you had if you have hotkeys preset up. Okay, so watch this. This is your default Think or Swim option uh, chain order window, right? Um, there is an actual trade grid tab right here that I expanded, right? Let's make it a two uh, two little windows. Okay, so watch watch this. That little feature is I don't think it's available. Uh, they, they talk about it but I had to kind of discover it on my own. So if you click that letter next to the bid or ask, it actually is gonna populate that level two here for me, right? And if you're wondering what the letters mean, you can go on Thinkorswim TLC website. That's basically how-to website for Thinkorswim. And they tell you what each option letter means. And if they don't really matter much for this specific case, right? That's when the actual last trade happened on what which uh, exchange. Anyway, so this out of the way, no, we know what the letters mean. They don't really matter for our, for our sake, right? We just want to get in on that uh, contract and we either want to get in on a call or in a put. So we got to click that letter right next to the bid or ask. It doesn't matter if you click a bid or ask letter, it's just going to pre-populate that 1010 contract, regardless if you click bid or ask. All right, so we have that level two a window pre-populated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create this gadget, and it's going to be an active trader gadget on my left window, right? But see what happens. It doesn't populate anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and trade on my uh, main screen, and, uh, act, and I'm going to click on active trader. Um, I'm going to bring that in. So the active trader, right? We were in all products. So I'm going to be an active trader here. And I'm going to detach that active trader window. And I'm going to bring it on my screen, on my main trader screen where I do all my trading. I'm going to make it a one window. And I'm going to remove the charts. All I care is, 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 is active trader, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a color group green, right? And that color group green is going to match my level two window where you see in the trade grid, also green, right? So I'm going to make a match. So watch this. Now every time I click a letter here, it's going to pre-populate my active trader and it's going to populate that level two. So they're now linked together, right? It's, it's really nice, really quick. If I want to be in a call, in a put, in a quick way, get in, get out. Another cool feature is for, for the quickness, right, a watch list. I linked my watch list in the yellow, right? And I go into my uh, option window and I have it linked to yellow as well. So if I have three, three stocks today that I'm trading and I think they're going to have a lot of breakouts because there's a lot of volume, I'm going to 
populate them in my watch list. I don't have to type them in. I click on Amazon. My Amazon's pre-populated. Uh, my options change right here. I click. I want to be at the money call, right? I click that. My active window is right there. So my my right uh, my left hand is also on the hotkeys. So as soon as I click that X, I can click my hotkey and I'm and I'm in, right? So one thing to note that Active Trader gadget that we activated earlier is not populating. To in order to do that to enable that, we're going to link it to a green collar, right? So it's going to match that Active Trader on the right. So every time I click the letter, my Active Act, Active Trader is actually pre-populated with that option chain that I clicked. So really nice. Get in, get out, set the hotkey, set up the hotkeys. And, and you're able to get in an option and out of the option really fast, just like you want it with the stocks. So hopefully this was helpful. I know it was for me. Please subscribe. Please like the video if you do. Talk to you guys next time.